Welcome to Hebrew Readers Church. I'm your brother Zach Wad. This is your brother Kasafo. We thank you and we hope that everybody's been enjoying the Feast of Tabernacles this week. And this is the last great day of the feast. Uh, we hope Alahim has been taking care of everybody. Everybody's been having a great time with their family and their loved ones. Um, with no further ado, we do want to get into an important topic. Uh, it's been becoming really, really a trend in these end times, and it has been picking up and progressing. Um, you see a lot of people starting to go to horoscope readings, and they're really putting their faith and their trust in these things. So we want to give edification as to what these things actually are and what people are actually diving into. Uh, without further ado, Brother Kasafo. All right. The fallen angels taught astrology and the constellations before the flood. Can you read Enoch chapter 8, verse 3, please? Barakadal taught astrology. Kokabel, the constellations. Ezequiel, the knowledge of the clouds. Araquiel, the signs of the earth. Samsiel, the signs of the sun. And Sariel, excuse me, Sariel, the course of the moon. From this knowledge of the understanding astrology and the constellations, the ancient people were aware of the 12 zodiacs. Can you read Job chapter 38, verse 32, please? Canneth thou bring forth Matharoth in his season? Or canneth thou guide our, our art, art, excuse me, Artur, Arturus with his sons? The definition of Maseroth, H4216, is the 12 signs of the zodiac and their 36 constellations. Now, looking at the 12 zodiacs, King Solomon met the 12 signs of the zodiacs, who are among the 36 elements of darkness, to help understand that there are actual evil spirits that are being served when observing zodiacs. Can you read the Testament of Solomon, chapter 72? to 73 please okay. and i commanded another demon to come before me and there came before my face 36 spirits their heads shapeless like dogs but in themselves they were human in form with faces of asses faces of oxen and faces of birds and i solomon on hearing and seeing them wondered and i asked them and said who are you but they of one accord with one voice said we are the 36 elements and the world rulers of this darkness. But, O King Solomon, thou would not wrong us, nor imprison us, nor lay command on us. But since Ahai Elohim hath given thee authority over every spirit in the air and on the earth and under the earth, therefore do we also present ourselves before thee like the other spirits, from ram and bull, from both twin and crab, Lion and virgin, scales and scorpion, archer, goat horned, water pour, and fish. Then I Solomon invoked the name of Ahia Soboata and, and questioned each in turn as what was his character. And I bade each one come forward and tell of his actions. Then the first one came forward and I said, excuse me, then the first one came forward and said, I am the first decans of the zodiac of the zodical circle and i am called the ram and with me are these two so i put so i put them to quite excuse me so i put them to the question who are ye called the first said i O lord am called rocks and i caused the heads of men to be idle and i pillaged their brows but let me only hear the words michael and prison rocks and at once i retreat as one can see from the ram, the zodiacs help cause harm to man. The word horoscope is derived from the Greek horoscopus to mean time observer. The practice of observing times through astrology and horoscopes was among the Chaldeans. Can you read Daniel chapter 2, verse 2, please? Then the king commanded to call the musicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. All right, chapter one, verse 20, please. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, that the king inquired of them, 
He found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. The definition of magician is H2748, and it means a horoscopist has drawn magical lines or circles. A magician. So observing horoscopes and observing times according to scripture, this makes us magicians. As one can see, a horoscope or observer of time is a type of magician, and the zodiacal signs are actually evil spirits. Ahaya commanded us not to learn these ways of the heathen. Can you read Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2, please? Thus saith Ahaya, learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. They are dismayed at the signs of heaven, those things that the angels taught men to read, whether it be the, the signs of the sun, the signs of the moon, the signs of the clouds and the constellations and astrology, the heathen, they're dismayed at them. And people still pay these things great mind to this day. But Ahaya wishes that we don't partake in that. The Egyptians had these types of magicians among them as well. Can you read Genesis chapter 41, verse 8, please? And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled, and he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt, and all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told them his dream, but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. That word, that, that word magician is the same as the Chalde, what we read in that, that, that's among the Chaldeans. So they, are, they had horoscopists as well. To know, we see what the heathen would do, and that lets us know that's something we're not supposed to learn by our highest command. According to the word of Ahaya, we are not to do as the Egyptians either. Can you read Leviticus chapter 18, verse 3, please? After the doing to the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, ye shall not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I bring you, ye shall not do. Neither shall ye walk in the ordinances. The Canaanites practiced it too. And Ahaya instructed us not to be observers of times. So we are not to get involved in horoscopes to serve the evil spirits known as the zodiacs. Can you read Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 and 10, and then verse 12 and 14, please? Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. When thou art come into the land which Ahiah that lion giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Excuse me, there shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Jump to uh, verse 12, 14, please. Uh, Deuteronomy 18, verse 12. For all that do these things are an abomination unto Ahia, and because of these abominations, Ahia the Elohim doeth drive them out from before thee, Thou shalt be perfect with that. Excuse me, thou shalt be perfect with Ahaya the Elohim. So observing times, partaking in these horoscopes and zodiacs, are actually, they're blemishing us. They're keeping us from being perfect. And it's these abominations that upset Ahaya before. And hopefully you understand through the scriptures that this is what the nations are and done to. Um, can you continue verse 14? Sorry. For these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times and unto diviners. Be as for thee, the Ahaya the Elohim hath not suffered thee to do so. So we're not supposed to hearken to the horoscopists, the observer of times. That's not something we're supposed to pay heed to. All right? In this command for us to be perfect, I had did not suffer us to observe times or diviners, so we are not supposed to get involved in the horoscopes. Sadly, we sinned in observing the times and using magic by wizards before. Can you read 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 6, please? And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the, of the son of Hinnon. Hinnon. Also, he observed times and used enchantments, and used witchcraft, and dealt with a familiar spirit, and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the south of Ahia to provoke him to anger. The definition of enchantments was H5172, 
It was to practice divination, divine, observe times, learn by experience, diligently observe. observe. Hold on. That Excuse me. Little, that was important. It's observe signs, not times. Oh, wow. I apologize. Yeah. That, yes. We're talking about the zodiacal signs that I observed. Thank you. He also said to practice fortune telling, to take as an omen, practice divination to observe the signs and omens. So what was going on in the kingdom of Judah is what's common today in the world. So you can see this stuff got people in a lot of trouble and provoked the higher to anger. So you can understand what's going on here in America and around the world with the horoscope and the zodiac observation and respect and, re and respect unto it, it provokes Ahaya. We were worshiping the planets as well. Can you read 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 5, please? And he put down the idolatrous priest, whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem. Them also that burn incense unto Baal, to the sun, to the moon, and to the planets, and to all the hosts of heaven. Modern astronomy considers the planets to be in connection with the zodiacs, and the definition of the word planets in the lexicon concordance agrees. The definition for planets is H4208. It's apparently in the sense of raining, a constellation. That is, zodiacal sign, perhaps affecting the weather, the planet. In the ancient idolatry, this ancient idolatry, excuse me, this ancient idolatry is still practiced today by evidence of the planets being connected with the 12 zodiac signs. These practices are what are still found in America, the dots of Babylon. Can you read Isaiah 47, verse 1, and then verse 12 to 13, please? Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin, daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt, be, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Uh, Isaiah chapter 47, verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shalt be able to to profit, excuse me, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly protag protagonisticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. And then we see Babylon had astrologers, stargazers, and monthly prognosticators. They were here, you have the 12 zodiacs, people go according to their month, especially when it's their birthday and such. They All these things is the type of things that Ahaya knew. Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, speaking of America, was standing. The definition of astrologers is H. 1895, and it was to divide, be an astrologer, and the Strong's is to be a horoscopist. So scripturally and by definitions that Allah Hayyam knew that the daughter of Babylon would be involved in horoscoping as well. And it makes sense because they're the daughter of Babylon. So Ahaya knew the horoscopes would be a part of America's sorcery through their astrology, just like the Chaldeans of old. Also the monthly perspective prognosticators sought knowledge according to the 12 months of the year, similar to the common practice of giving heed to zodiacal signs of one respective Gregorian birth month in search of knowledge. For such things as these, judgments are to come upon her. Can you read Isaiah 47 and 8 and 9, please? Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that saith in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Verse 9, please. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, that they shall come upon thee in their perfect, excuse me, 
They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. In conclusion, the zodiacs are evil spirits and we are commanded to be perfect and must not observe times or divinations. So we cannot partake in horoscopes. These are the practices of magic according to scripture and these sorceries are part of the wickedness committed by the daughter of Babylon that she shall be judged for. We cannot be found sorcerers, and we, or else we shall not enter to the holy city to come. Can you read Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 to 15, please? And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without a dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Hopefully this is edifying to understand that horoscopes and zodiacs are not for the children of Allah I am through faith in the Christ. Christ. Anything that is that far? Uh, I think that's pretty clear. Um, right. Right. Putting your trust in those things is definitely taking you down the wrong path. And uh, you have to really um, analyze and examine yourself as to what spirit is leading you to cleave unto those things. Um, because there's truth in Alahayim. There's truth in knowing your tribe. There's truth in the spirits that attack you. You don't need a, a, a demon. Um, Pretty much, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, rendering uh, understanding to you based off of what the demon has learned in the heavens. Because all the all those things, those zodiacs and those uh, astrologies and stuff like that, that sometimes they're accurate, sometimes they're not, because the demons are literally sitting in the firmament hearing some of the things that's going on with the other angels and they're going back and they're using the information to gain you. So you have to be very, very careful with the things that you actually agree to. That's why it was um, the interesting part of um, Revelation 22 and 15 said, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Because those horoscopes are or lies majority of the time. And even the devil speaks some truth at some point. So don't be surprised when sometimes it's right. Like, oh, it's right. You know, but how many times has it been wrong? So you have to, you have to be very, very um, observant when it comes to those things and stay away from them. And it said, don't learn it. Nothing to go and cry out a false prophet about. All right, let's go ahead and pray out, everybody. Kathy, you want to lead it? Uh, sure. All right. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. In the name of the Lord, Yahshua, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. All right, everybody. Enjoy your Shabbatai. Enjoy your Feast of Tabernacles. Shalom. <laughs>